Everyone, let's have a hand for Kip Peltonini. Thank you. Um, boy, this is, uh, I hope I don't seem nervous. You know, it's not used to playing for a crowd quite this small, you know, and uh, 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 I don't know, did anybody here, I played at the Target Center last Wednesday night? Yeah. Didn't go too well, actually. There was this basketball game going on at the time. And, uh, uh, but uh, I, got, I got a good review in the paper. I, somebody just handed it to me. I haven't even read it yet. Yeah, the underliner said, uh, an exciting time, an exciting, uh, an exciting scene occurred in uh, last night's Lynx game when a delusional man walked out on the floor playing the accordion. I have to look up that word delusional. I think it means really exciting or something like that. But anyway, I met a guy at the bus stop and he, I, I only had to give him $500 to play at the Target Center. So I thought it was a good deal. I, but anyway, so it's, it's great to be back here at Niswa. And uh, as uh, some of you may know, I'm the very last of the old time button accordion players from Minnesota's Finnish Triangle. Uh, where is it? Does everybody know? Does anybody not know where the Finnish Triangle is? I bet you those folks from Philadelphia don't know where the Philadelphia. <laughs> well, uh, actually, uh, you know, people think of Finns being up on the Iron Range, and there are Finns up there, but they were the ones who came too late to get farmland. You know, so uh, what happened is uh, in Minnesota, if you look at it, uh, you've got uh, northern Minnesota and you've got southern northern Minnesota. The Finnish Triangle is up in northern Minnesota, right? But that's big, you know, that stretches all the way, you know, up from, you know, kind of Wadena up all the way up to uh, International Falls. So if you draw a line across the middle of that, you've got northern, northern Minnesota and you've got southern, northern Minnesota. So the Finnish Triangle is in southern, northern Minnesota, okay. But that's big too, because that stretches all the way from the Wisconsin border all the way to North Dakota. And so if you draw a line down the middle of that, you've got western, southern, northern Minnesota, and you've got eastern, southern, northern Minnesota. And the Finnish Triangle is in western, southern, northern Minnesota. But that's a big area too, but you know, it's, uh, that stretches all the way from Motley to Moorhead, you know, and uh, so if you draw a line down the middle of that, you've got western, western, southern, northern Minnesota, and you've got eastern, western, southern, northern Minnesota. And the Finnish Triangle is kind of in the eastern part of western, southern, northern Minnesota, kind of in the central part of the eastern portion of western, southern, more northern Minnesota, and kind of in the southern half of the central part of the eastern part of western, southern, northern Minnesota. And so now you have a pretty good idea where that is. <laughs> but uh, anyway, I, I, I kind of, I kind of lost it, but. Does anybody out there like music? <laughs> oh, you do. Well, you're going to probably be disappointed by this. But anyway, uh, anyway, uh, you know, one of the things is uh, I learned to play the accordion, as Paul said, on my uh, uncle's knee, and uh, and he kept pushing me off. But you know, I was you know I was 25 years old. I mean, it was, wasn't <laughs> you know it was, wasn't that easy. I weighed 200 and some pounds, and. Uh, Finally, he just gave me the accordion. Well, he threw it at me, you know, but, uh, but uh, so uh, that's how I started learning to play the button accordion. And I've got two different types up here, and they're tuned differently. And being a show business pro, I have put different colored straps on them so I don't get them mixed up. And because, uh, and you know, that could be a big mistake. But anyway, um, since this is the 20th anniversary and it's such a special occasion, uh, what I would like to do is something very classy, because one of the reasons that people play accordion is because they want to show off. That's, that's basically it. And, uh, you know, you're the smiling guy with the accordion. You know, you win friends and have influence, you know. It's, uh, it's, it hasn't worked out for me that way, but that's, that was, that's what they said on the back of the advertisement, you know. And anyway, but, uh, so I'd like to do a tune that you normally don't hear on, uh, uh, the accordion. I'd like to do box, toccata, and fugue, uh, and uh, I really would like to do that. But instead, I'm going to do this one. <laughs> That's too hard. <laughs> Let's see. Okay. 
I don't want to hit a mic. This is what you call a big, small accordion. And this is a song, it's actually a polka, but it's a song about a guy who has to learn to play the accordion. Well, there was this guy named Johnny who loved this gal named Sue, and he swore to the moon and stars above there was nothing that he wouldn't do to win her love and marry her, but there was a tiny glitch. He'd have to learn accordion before they could get hitched. You see, Sue just loved polka, and she was the biggest fan of any fella, young or old, who played accordion. So he practiced on that squeeze box every night and day, and every time you'd hear him, this is what he'd play. He'd play the one-note polka, that's no joker, the one-note polka. He'd play the one-note polka. Just one note was all that he could play. Hey, I've been working on that for a while. Well, after a couple weeks, it became quite clear that Johnny was quite diligent, but he had a lousy ear. And it really didn't matter if the notes were bass or treble clef. Johnny couldn't hear them. See, he was tone deaf. But though he lacked the ability to distinguish between two notes, his fingers had some agility, and he learned to play by rote. And he practiced on that squeeze box every night and day. And every time you'd hear him, this is what he'd play. He'd play the one-note polka. That's no joker. The one-note polka. He did the one-note polka. Just one note was all that he could play. Do it again. Well, by the time he learned that one note, Sue had long moved on, but it really didn't matter, because by then he'd learned that if to win somebody's love, you gotta pass some sort of test. Well, she probably doesn't love you, and it's just as well she left. But then one day he met Nadine, who really loved him true. She didn't mind his one note, because she was tone deaf too. Nadine just loved to dance along to Johnny's crazy beat. She was tripping and a stumbling cause she had two left feet. They did the one note polka. That's no joker, the one note polka. They did the one note polka. Just one note was all that he could play. Thank you. As my friend Art Bjornjov would say, thank you, music lovers. <laughs> um, the Finnish Triangle, being located where it is, is in the Mississippi River system. And if you follow the Mississippi River all the way up to Minneapolis and curves around up here, it goes to the Crowing River just south of here. Crowing River runs up through Staples and Motley, that area. And then it meets the Leaf River. The Leaf River runs over to the west, and it goes into the Leaf River bottom, and then it meets Finn Creek. 
and a form of blues migrated up the Mississippi River all the way from, from, from the Mississippi Delta, and there is a smaller delta on Finn Creek, and, uh, <laughs> and, uh, and they, uh, they're, they're, there are some blues uh, players there, you know, uh, Blind Lemon, Kind and Mackey, and, and so on. But the guy that I really liked was a fellow by the name of uh, Waylon Wayno Wapala. <laughs> And uh, he was a bottleneck button accordion player. And uh, it really didn't work very well because you can't really open tune a two row button accordion. But he tried. And actually what he really tried, he thought it was the fault of the bottleneck. So he kept trying different bottles to get these bottlenecks. And he had just, you know, he'd empty the contents of the bottle. So that was, that was kind of part of the deal too. And so uh, anyway, I was influenced by him and his playing back in those days. And, uh, and so I tried to write uh, my own uh, tune, uh, kind of in the blues style. And this is called the Squeeze Box Blues. And it's a tune that you can uh, moan along on to. <laughs> Well, I should have played the guitar, the nickel harpa, or the sitar. I bet I really would have been a star. But somehow on a whim, I learned accordion. And that is why I haven't gone so far. From my head to my shoes, I got these squeeze box blues. I practice and I practice, but you know the fact is, that telephone's just hanging on the wall. I keep hoping and a praying folks will appreciate my plan. Still, you know, I never get no calls. Let me give you the news. Oh, I got these squeeze box blues. Play the blues. Someday I'll be standing on the corner with my trusty honer just trying to earn a meal or two. When up pulls this limousine and this lady in sateen says, Sonny, here's a hundred bucks for you. But for now I just lose. I got these squeeze box blues. Oh yes, the squeeze box blues. Everybody now. Oh, oh. Thank you. Thank you. Well, thank you very much.